Neighborhood revitalization is coordinating and collaborating with residents and also other service providers and other agencies who are doing work different than ours. Part of the goal, because there is a affordable housing crisis that confronts us, is to create a community of choice where anyone, regardless of their income, would choose to live. The overall goal is to enhance quality of life for, for all residents in the neighborhood. So we're newly stepping into that space in Sharswood and making sure that the desires and gifts and dreams of the residents are driving that work and that we're accountable to them. So that's the part that makes it really new and big and exciting and hard, but wonderful. <laughs> For Shawswood, given its proximity to Center City, to Fairmount, to Burytown, to Francisville, you had this urban enclave right in the middle um, that was almost a forgotten land. We want to change that, and partnering with Habitat is an opportunity for us to do just that. Habitat for Humanity, they listened to the needs of the community, and they expanded their scope of services. We wanted safe walkways in the neighborhood, so they went door to door, block to block, and people who wanted to participate, they put lighting on your outside. They provided a mailbox and numbers on your door for your address. You know, they addressed um, not just minor repairs, they did some major repair and at a cost that people could afford it. Some of these homes were in severe disrepair. Habitat allowed us to help families remain in place. So the, the Oxford Green Development Initiative is as important as the home repair. We want to build housing that people own because we know that helps sustain the community. We know that if you have a stake in it, you tend to care about what happens around your house and in your neighborhood. And that's why this, these 20 units are, are so critical. What can we get done and accomplish an impact when we cluster all that building work and then also use our building skills for public spaces to enhance quality of life? You still need a vibrant, healthy neighborhood that gives you access to opportunity. We built out a garden area and sort of area where people can do exterior programming at the Athletic Rec Center. We helped move a garden called the North Philadelphia Peace Park. We've helped some of the churches build out spaces for the programming that they want to have. That work isn't going to be sustainable or nearly as impactful if the people in the neighborhood don't have full agency and feel connected and have some social cohesion. By having a relationship with Habitat, talking to them, coming into the neighborhood, helping the neighbors to get organized, helping them to understand that they have power, that they have input, that they are helping them to be empowered. So Habitat um, is what I would call a like-minded partner. They understand the needs of families in need and the work that Habitat is doing in helping families achieve the American dream. It's the cherry on top of that cake. Um, and I couldn't be prouder. I'm just glad I was able to have a relationship with Habitat to come into this neighborhood and really care about the people in this neighborhood to make sure that their housing um, issues were being addressed.